Hey guys, I'm Beat, and you probably know me for either terrible custom HUDs or just getting a lot of clout by porting stuff to Source 2. And this time I'm doing it again by porting one of the most iconic surf maps in Counter-Strike history, Surf underscore Mesa. Even if you've never played Counter-Strike in your life, you've probably seen this map being played by commentary YouTubers like Leafy or Gulach. Because I'm probably the first person to port this map to Source 2, I'm also probably the first to actually complete it, so check it out! In case you're wondering how this was achieved, I used the Half-Life Alex Workshop tools, of which I've used quite a bit in the past to port content to Source 2, and used a lot of the techniques shared by the person on the screen right now. If it weren't for the techniques shown in this video, this map would not have been looking as great as it looks. In fact, when Counter-Strike 2 came out, a lot of people believed that you couldn't even pack your map with custom materials, and thus, you could only use the stuff inside of the game. However, after downloading some bootleg tools off of the internet, I managed to port this map over to Source 2 and retain most of its features. There are, however, a few things that I cannot fix, such as this door here just, just doesn't open right, and also some particles are going to be missing. But most of the map is functional, and it is playable from start to finish. There is, however, one thing that really hampers the gameplay experience, and it is something that the surfing community must definitely be aware of. Sometimes at the edges of the surfing boards, sometimes you just get stuck on it and lose all of your speed. This is definitely a very big issue and it's something that I suffered from a lot while playtesting this map. Also some other interesting oddities and this has mostly to do with how Source 2 maps function compared to Source 1. For instance, because Source 2 no longer has a skybox, if you look up, yeah, you can see the rest of the map. I had to move the Secrets Paradise map thing to a different part of the map just so that you couldn't see it. Also, check out how water splashes look in Counter-Strike 2. This is something that has not been seen before. Another funny thing that happened to me while playtesting this map was how silly you look while surfing in third person. I mean, just, just look at him go, it's just, he's just vibing to the beats of some, like, song or something. And also, the legs just do just all sorts of funny stuff when you teleport. <laughs> what? This map, though, still isn't 100% finished. There are some sounds missing, and also some particles just had to be cut because they just don't function very well when I tried porting them to Source 2. And again, there are going to be some bugs when playtesting this map. What motivated me to port this map over to Source 2 was a guy called Lucas, who's seen me port KZ Baxter to Source 2. He suggested me to port this map over, so thank you Lucas for the suggestion. And also, I'm really concerned with how the workshop is going to work in Counter-Strike 2. Valve still hasn't given us any information regarding how the workshop is going to work in CS2. And I think that the most obvious thing that is going to happen is that a lot of content that was made for CSGO just won't be playable in CS2. But here it is, Surf Mesa in Counter-Strike 2. I do have plans to distribute this once the workshop rolls out. Also, Counter-Strike Twitter noticed me, oh my god! <laughs> 